Hi, I'm Marcy from Single Mom on a Farm, and today I'm going to show you around our property a little bit because uh, I love watching other people's properties, before, especially before I bought this place. Then I was always looking at other people's um, properties, seeing if they could find a tour. So I knew what I would want to look for. So maybe this will inspire you in your dream for looking for a, a homestead or a farm property or just a country house. It's very, very peaceful here. So behind me is our driveway, and uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you. Um, some around property. This is where we milk Maisie over here. If you saw my milking video, um, it was taken in the fall. Now we have a bunch of dogwoods blooming. They're real pretty. And it looks different in the spring. And we have this pasture over here, which we put Maisie in sometimes. I also want to get pigs sometime and put them over here and they can go down in the woods. We have an old car that's down there that uh, was here when we got here, so we'll show you that in a minute. And we're coming down our driveway right here. The left is the tobacco barn. They had, uh, you can open that window up there and load up the tobacco, and there are some poles still up there from when they grew tobacco here. Probably like, you know, in the 30s or 40s. This is the chicken yard. I'm going to do a different tour of the chicken coop and barn another day. Um, but they mostly just free range. I'll do a video about free range and chickens also sometime. Over here is our wood pile. We don't have much left right now because we're trying to use it all up. Uh, so I have a lot more in the woods I want to bring over to stack. So I'm trying to use up this old wood first. Looks like the chickens are hanging out in here, taking their dust baths and keeping cool because it's a hot day. This is our bike shed. We just keep our bikes in there. I need to fix this door, but we. Just have our tools in there, chainsaws and gas cans for the lawnmower and stuff like that. This is a rhododendron bush that will bloom in May. And irises, that will be blooming soon. Today's April 15th, so it's a nice spring day. Azaleas, these are some slack lines or Ninja Warrior courses that are really fun. These are big pecan trees. You get lots of good pecans in the winter. And that one is a walnut tree. Coming up for a walk, we have to plant some begonias. We plant those every spring for summer. Mm -hmm. What are y'all two doing? Uh, we're reading the scripts, practicing for Lion King. Do you get to go tonight, Tilly? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Got the little chickies out. You are so cute. And some azaleas. That's a Japanese maple tree. These are three of our blueberry bushes. We have about a hundred more up on the hill. I'll show you later. When the blossoms fall off, there'll be little blueberries growing. They are usually ready about July 4th to August 10th. And sometimes I take the suckers off, like this one. You could just practically pull it out of the ground like that and then I plant them over here. These are the ones I did last year. So some of them worked and some of them died, which is fine because it was free anyway and I needed to thin them out. So I, have, I need to do all these other ones right here. You don't really want them that far away from the base or trunk of the blueberries. Here are our grapes. So I'm on this side of the house. 
beautiful dogwood tree and the pecans. That shed is our storage shed. We have tubs of clothes and shoes to hand, you know, hand down to the next child and holiday decorations. Here's a yellow rose bush. These are figs. You can see the teensy tiny little figs growing right there. They're ready in August and September. This is our wildflower garden. It's really pretty all summer. Lots of big wildflowers. Creek myrtle tree and a poplar tree. And this is our garden. This is our watermelon box. This is McKenna's. I might do a separate one about our garden. So I'll just do this really quickly. We have lettuce and garlic there, asparagus there. These are herbs. We need to plant some more. We have some carrots planted there. These are bell peppers, tomatoes, peas, and then we'll plant okra here later. Potatoes, zucchini squash, cucumbers, and strawberries little garden shed that was here and these boxes are already here when we moved here we have planted some raspberries on this side and some propagated some more blackberries on this side and these are kiwi bushes I'll show you what a kiwi looks like those ones are male and these are female such a sunny day it's hard almost hard too hard sunny to see things but those will be the little kiwi. Will we get any? Okay, going back this way now. I'll take you behind the house. So now we're behind the shed. And more grapes on this side. This is our cherry tree. Children love to climb this one. Might have seen them doing that on the block. Here's the little cherries growing. They should be ready by the 1st of June. This area over here, the previous owners had a pool, but it wasn't here when we got here. It was an in-ground pool, I guess. They must have filled it in. So I haven't decided what to do with this area yet. We put a trampoline and we do have a fire pit that we put a grill on top of too like real things. Got daffodils. Our sandbox. <laughs> Hi, Emmy. Emmy's the rooster. And I think that's about all for this side. There's a little apple tree. Uh, we have several apple trees on the other side. I forgot to show you that. This is a pawpaw tree. Well, they'll get really big leaves a little bit later and another dogwood and we're back to the where we started here's the beginning of our trail down into um, a few different creeks that we have so we're on this side of the house next to the sandbox and wood pile and we're gonna go on down to show you some of our creeks We can go two ways. This is more for a bike if you want to go on a bike, and you can and you and you can walk on that trail. But sometimes they still walk on that one. Oh really? Okay. Which one should I do? I'll do the bike one. to make a bike ramp but so we tried to put like mud on it but it didn't really work so now so now it's just a
that was a frog. Oh, cool. Here we reach one of our creeks. It's really fun to play in and catch crowd ads in. I built the bridges to go across them, didn't we, Tilly? Yeah. Yeah, we did have to carry you across. Yeah, so, so then we made these bridges. Yeah. It's fun to see the ferns just barely unfurling, the little fiddlehead ferns. They're starting to come out. And all summer long, they'll be really, really big and tall. Mix them up to your waist around the woods. All of our creeks are natural springs. Here's a spot where the water is just coming out of the ground right there. After the tobacco barn here, then there was the house in the sandbox and we went down the creek, down our trail to the left down there. And we have three springs down there. And then to our right, we have one. And here's where the old car is buried. Let's go take a look. Andy's gonna be our tour guide. Here we are at the car that got buried in the mud here. Over there's the hood. Here's a door. And there's another one. Over there's a steering wheel. And this and that are things for the wheels. Yep, where the tires went. Door handle on that side. The back bumper has an old license plate that says 1959 on it. So this used to be a road going up to the house. You can see, so maybe it got stuck in the, in the road. It does flood here when there, we get a big storm. This creek overflows. So maybe it got stuck or maybe they just left it here and didn't want it anymore because there's a lot of, a lot of trash and tires and other things that they, they left here. Not having a dump. I guess that's what they did in those days. There's some more water on this side. It's pretty fun to come play down here. I'd love to clean it up even more if I had the time. So when I get more of my projects done, I'm going to come clean up this area. And that's where the car is buried over there. This is where we go leaf sledding down the hill. You see the video of us leaf sledding in the fall. That's pretty fun. Like, yeah, I found a uh, deal plant or something. Yeah, for sure. Good job. Very beautiful. We love our woods. I'm up here on what I've named Blueberry Hill. It has a beautiful view. It also is Maisie's pasture. Here are the blueberry bushes. We have seven or eight rows. And they were very overgrown when we moved in. They had lots of pine trees grown out of them and thorn trees, wild blackberries, all kinds of brambles and things. We've been cleaning them out for the past two years. We opened last year and we plan to open again this year for Pick Your Own Blueberry. I love the, to learn the history about places, so I was interested to hear that they had rows along this hill where they grew the tobacco. They had terraced farming and grew the tobacco and the rose along the hillside. Thank you so much for joining me and for watching my video, being interested in our little farm. It means a lot to me. I love it here. We are so very happy here. It's a dream come true. It's a miracle that we even got the place because the owners had cash offers and they accepted mine, which was not a cash offer. And I'll be forever grateful to them. They are the sweetest couple ever. And I know it was a miracle that we, that we got the place. I hope that if you have a dream to have a homestead or a, or a country house or a little property that you go for it, that you do everything you can to get it and I hope it works out for you because it is wonderful to live in the country, to have plenty of places and space for the kids to run around and to have animals and gardens and fruit trees and, and everything like that. We just love it here again and the weather's perfect 
it's it's everything we wanted and i hope you have a great day thanks so much bye bye